Hey my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Live here, and who feels like riding the Manta from SeaWorld San Diego today? I sure do. So let's do it. This was created by Mukachu. So stay tuned and let's check it out. So this was sent in by Sean, and he says, Hey Johnny5, I made a recreation of Roller Coaster Manta in SeaWorld San Diego. Here's the link to the workshop page if you want to check it out and make a coaster spotlight on it. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for your submission, Sean. Let's take a better look at this, guys. So here's a Steam Workshop page, Manta SeaWorld San Diego. Um, come rate it, favorite it, subscribe to it. All the links will be down in the description below, as always. And I've never been to SeaWorld San Diego, so I have some images from google here to compare it to here's a few here's a few i also looked at a quick video on youtube and uh looks pretty cool it's hard to tell in some of these videos because a lot of the time you're looking at the people that looks really cool i don't know if that's the actual location though um this one that looks really cool the logo so there it is everybody so let's just dive right into it uh looking at the coaster right away excitement 4.78 a fear of 3.91 and a nausea of 1.34 and uh, we got a lot of the colors nailed on this really cool blue track look at these nice little ma uh, man-made fences really cool so let's look at a bird's eye view of this now right away I feel like there should be more water shouldn't there be we got some over here where it has the iconic splash. I feel like this area should be full of water, should it not? Hmm, I don't really know. I feel like if we suck this into the ground a little bit and put some water in, it might look nicer. Feels a little dry for a sea world. We will have to see. Now this part we saw on the Google images, it looks very familiar. Um, the only, my, my only suggestion is to put some text above it saying Manta. Edible text signs. Now what's odd about this, it doesn't look like a, a Stingray. Guys, guys, you do know. There is a ride called the Stinger, and you can hang just like the Manta. It's actually technically called um, the Stingray. See that? It props them up and lies them down. That would be the Manta. So that's my first feedback, is that you used the wrong coaster. At least I think. Am I wrong about this, guys? Is there another Manta Sea World that I was not looking at? Well, nonetheless, let's give it a go. See how it runs. So here's the boarding station. Quick look at this. I don't want to look in there. Probably get surprised by something again. Alright, let's just give this thing a go. We don't have any people in this park. Ah, it's leaving! No! Here we go. Oh, this is kind of neat like underwater here now I'm curious to know why the stingray wasn't used quite the long time here with this blocking station there we go um. Breaks into a boost. That's kind of strange. And I do feel like maybe a little bit of smoothing could be done on this. I'm noticing some areas that are... Could use a little bit of smoothing. Not bad. Now I have to say... 
I am a little disappointed that it's not a hanging coaster. And I don't know why I didn't realize this by looking at the screenshots. Um, a lot of the times I'm just kind of... I get a little excited and I open these things up and just start recording because I want my first impressions to be authentic and I want to discover these things out with you guys. So it's a, it's a process for all of us. We all get to figure it out at the same time. And um, we don't really ever know what to expect. So uh, I guess we can give this a go in cinematic as well. I want to take a look at the lighting at nighttime. I don't know how this thing's supposed to be lit at night. Now, what you've done here with the boarding station, I feel like it could have it could have really benefited from these vibrant blue lights over here especially with some water in the ground. Who I want to do something to this in a sec, but it might not be authentic. Yeah, let's let's give this thing a ride. And I want to show you guys something cool. We'll do something creative in this episode. Why not? Okay, here we go. Cinematic. Yeah, see, there are little spots here and there that could use some smoothing. I don't know what the, the reason of having breaks before boosts is. Someone could explain that to me. I don't, I don't really understand it. If your intention is to speed them up, why would you want to slow them down? There it is. All right, let's let's go have some fun over here. I want to I want to play around with something here, guys. Um, uh, what am I doing? Wake up. Okay, so I'm gonna push in the ground a little bit, just a little bit. Let's get a stronger brush. There we go. Leave a couple little hills and whatnot there. And then we're going to fill this guy up with water. Probably do calm water. Now, what you can do here is if you pull the ground up again, so it's almost poking through. So you can see little bits of, like, you want to do this a little bit cleaner than I am, but if you can see little bits of the terrain poking through the water, if it's clear enough, let's actually switch back to daytime so I can see this a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, you want to be able to see a little bit of the terrain through the water. Because this will help you get some really nice colors. And then when you use the light, you'll get some even better colors. Now, depending on... See, I don't know if this matches the real life reference or not. But you can already tell that I don't think it's the right coaster being used. Now, I think... I'm just winging it. I think um, I'm going with the sand just because I, I think the green will conflict with the blue that we're going to play with in a second here. So I don't mind the little bits of green on the on the land there. Looks kind of neat. There we go. And now if we go back to nighttime, type in light and look for the colorable area lights. We go with a vibrant blue. Now, what's cool is if you find a good spot to angle this, you might need a higher up vantage point. We would have to bring up this little hill a little bit. But if you shine it at the water from a vantage point, you can even probably hide it inside one of these. See that? I'm starting to get that water to glow at nighttime. And because the land is somewhat close to the water's surface, it hits, it hits the land and gives us different contours of blue. So we could just hide these lights inside these stingrays. Now look at that. That screams SeaWorld, doesn't it? And now you have triggered events in this water as this thing's cruising by, it's spraying up water. You could even go as far as to add a different color blue. 
so we get a slightly different color. We could put some maybe little bits of these guys around our stingrays so that they kind of glow at a different color than the rest. Maybe just uh, you could even shine some spotlights at the land around the edges where I sunk it in and what you'll get is a really strong gradient between the blues. See that nice hue glowing around the edges of the water and then we get this nice dark blue everywhere else. Now if I did that around the whole thing I think it would give it a really nice effect. That to me is just lighting 101 by Channel 5 Gaming everybody so Hopefully you guys like this tip, and if there's anything I can provide as feedback through this video, would be to be something like that. And it feels a little bit more SeaWorldy at night, and I would even go as far as to say you could probably even get away with using some of those same lighting tactics that I showed you here, and shine them even just on the track. See that? It gives you some really cool effects. For your nighttime scene. I like that. If you had a bunch of those, it could look good. Nonetheless, let's take a look at this boarding station because I think there's a little bit of lighting done in here. So this got this has a good nice vibe to it. Very nice. Well, there it is, everybody. That's uh Manta Sea World San Diego by Mukachu. Uh, links will be down in the description as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more Daily Planet Coaster videos. And let me know what you guys think of Mantis SeaWorld down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a fantastic day. Alright everybody, see ya!